Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. So, even though, though I have to wait for Saturday to see Fantastic Beasts, please, it really doesn't matter. But still, that doesn't mean I could still talk about uh, everything that is all about the Wizarding World. So, for my next video, for my next Hogwarts house, house I'm doing. So far I did Gryffindor and Ravenclaw, which means there's only two left. And so, and for my next house, I'll be discussing a house that talk, that talks about loyalty and patience. Yes, I'm talking about Hufflepuff. Yes, Hufflepuff. Do you know both my mom and my brother Cedric are are Hufflepuffs too? I mean, that is awesome. Also, I really am proud of them. I can't wait for all three of us to show show our house colors with pride. <laughs> okay. So, for this list, I'll be discussing my top five witches and wizards in of Hufflepuff. For this list, I'll be discussing all, all the members, all the witches and wizards who, who were from that house of Hufflepuff, named after one of the founders, Helga Hufflepuff. Okay, let's get started. Number five... Theseus Scamander. If I risk it all. Yes, Newt's big brother and a and a hugger as well. I like I like Theseus for number five because because he was he was quite a war hero hero back in the day, and and he's. And he's a, and he is a fiance to Lita Lestrange. Strange though. I really do care care that he wants to wants to fight against the battle against Grindelwald, though. Though, and it, and it really was heartbroken seeing his fiance killed like that. I can't wait to see more more of him in the third movie. Movie though, it would be awesome of him of him working with his brother side by side against Grindelwald. Okay, number four, Pomona Sprout. Yes, Professor Sprout. Sprout from Chamber of Secrets, how she teach teach the kids how to replot to repot mandrakes. Thanks. And she was very helpful of helping the kid kids unpetrified by using the mandrakes. Mandrakes though. So she was she was quite quite kind and quite intelligent to know her plants and so she really does have a three she really does have a real green thumb for a witch which and that's why why I do admire her okay number three Cedric Diggory yes Yes, the wizard played by Robert Pattinson himself. I mean, he was a, I mean, he was a great addition to, addition to the to the novels. Do you know he only he appeared in the Prisoner of Azkaban first, and yet he shows up in Goblet of Fire in Fire the movie. What are the odds? So, I do find it quite weird how how the books he was mentioned earlier and that yet they show up in the sequels. 
enough about that. I liked Cedric because he, because he was the first one to, one to, first one in the try was a tournament on the first task, task to battle against his dragon, and how he did it flawlessly and got the golden egg, and how he rescued, rescued Cho Chan, Chan in the Black Lake, like using the bubblehead charm. I mean, that was, I mean that was ingenious. I don't know what kind of charm I use use to to go underwater, but I definitely go with the bubblehead charm. <laughs> it was either that or the gillyweed. <laughs> and I really do admire how he how he stopped how he stopped Victor Victor before he gets a chance before he was he was stunned by him, him in that third maze. But it turns out he was bewitched. He was bewitched. Yeah, Victor Crumb, not not Cedric. Cedric. And I really, and I was heartbroken. What, how he died in the end? It was so heart heartbroken. How how Hogwarts how Hogwarts lost one of its best students. Okay, number two, Nymphadora Tonks. For the man, but I get the, I get the, I get the power you. Oh, I love this, this woman. I do love it. When I first saw, saw her in Aura the Phoenix, how she changed her hair when Mad Eye was, when she was mad at Mad Eye calling out her name. Yeah. Yeah. And whoever thought that she would end up falling in love love with Lupin? <laughs> I think those two make an absolute couple right there. And they have a baby together named Teddy. Oh, what a cute name. Ma'am, I love it. She she was quite, quite an ord quite an absolute she was like one of the best allies allies that the order has has though but i was disappointed disappointed how she and lupin died in the end I, sometimes she could have just stayed with teddy though at least there would be one parent out there there to take care of him but at least, at least Teddy got his got his grandma. Okay, you guys. Before I get to my number one pick for the witches and wizards in Hufflepuff, here are my honorable mentions. Don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did, looking like a true survivor. Okay. Okay. Number one is pretty obvious. It talks about one of the best wizards one of the best new wizards we have ever who is such who has a heart of gold when it comes to these beast newt scamander gonna be risky life and soul at the party no of course I already talked about theseus why not add add newt I loved Newt. Newt ever since I saw saw the first movie. He was he was kind. He he was smart. smart and very and very small minded though. But that's okay. Yeah. I really do love it how he he takes extraordinary care care with the beast you know how he protected them nurtured them them feed them it, it's like he's a it's like he's a big father father to all all creatures oh my i really did love love his friendship with jacob kowalski i oh, see those two had the sack same 
thing, chemistry friendship with like Harry and Ron, hands down. Um, and and I really do admire how he fancied Tina. You know, I mean, I do believe they make a fabulous couple. But it begs the question, how come she didn't show up up in the trailers though? That that we should find out once I see the movie. Okay, you guys, that's that's all my top five witches and wizards for for Hufflepuff. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. Yeah!